Alright, so this customer in particular wants a specific kind of plaque. Wants one that's got a longer board in the middle, two shorter ones on the side. So, you can use wood from the store. I use barn wood, just old rough lumber. And uh, what you want to make sure of is you're going to have to use, unless you have some long boards, you're going to have to use multiple boards. You want to make sure they're the same width. Okay, I usually make all the middle boards 15, the outside 13. Now what you're going to do is measure your boards and mark them. But you need to measure and mark one at a time. Because, you know, when you cut, you lose a little bit. And remember, one board 15, two boards 13. <laughs> Once you've got your boards cut, you gotta find whatever face you like, whatever side I should say, side of the board you like better, put it face down on the table. Alright, we've got something here to hold them together, but as you can see, they're a little long. I usually cut them to eight inches. You can see right here is eight inches, that's about halfway on the outer boards. And that way they're not right on the edge. You really can't see them when this plaque's hanging on the wall. All right, now that we've got those cut, you need to get you some screws. You can use nails. I have before, but uh, you'll lose your patience. So the way to check that your screw is not going to go all the way through, these are inch and a half screws because these... These uh, deals I'm going to put on the back are pretty thick. So this inch and a half, the way you do that is just put the head right there and look at it. And it's not going to make it through. Before you screw, you're going to make sure, if you're an OCD person like I am, that your uh, deals that are going to hold your wood together are evenly separated. So this. Middle one's 15 inch board, you're gonna have one at five, one at 10. And now that we've got that lined up, you wanna screw the screw, put two screws, the top one and the bottom one, and the middle board first. Wait to the outside ones, I'll tell you why here in just a second. And I almost forgot to mention, because I never think about these things when I'm making one of these, I just do it, you know, I've done it so many times. But you wanna measure how far across it is, the width. It's the proper term. The width of the plaque, and that's about 11 inches, but uh, it's a little further, but it doesn't have to be exact. So, this is eight, this 11, that's three inches, you need one and a half inches on each side. <sighs> My drill died. It's all right though, I just want to keep two batteries. And if you don't pick up a drill and do this, I don't trust you. Another thing you need to do before you screw in these outside boards that if you don't do when you get done you'll be real upset with yourself is to make sure that it's the same amount of space here as it is up here. Because remember these, this middle one's longer than these two on the outside. And this one's 13 inches, this one's 15 inches. So you need an inch here and an inch here. All right, now we've got all six of our screws in. Another thing didn't mention that I just did. Uh, you don't want to get too close to the end of these these pieces of wood here because you'll crack it like I did. That's not enough to worry about, so we're going to leave it. Okay, but you can flip it over, play with it now. And as you can see, this is, uh, this is not as wide as these two. It's my mistake. It's gonna make sand in a lot harder. But we're gonna deal with it. And now we're gonna sand this baby. And I use 80 grit, eight inch disc, this 
Dewalt sander, of course, best brand out there, you know, whatever. It's actually a five inch disc, excuse my stupidity. <laughs> this middle part with that five inch disc not eight but uh get you a little fancy brush like this here just knock that nastiness off there here's another sanding tip what i do with these corners here is just run this thing down it like so what you're about to see and then on uh these corners kind of flatten them off I think it makes it look a little more professional. If you want to get real professional, you can use a router, really round them off, but I think this looks fun. All right, here's the finished product. Doesn't look too shabby. But uh, now we're gonna stain it. And really, you don't have to sand or stain it. Some people like the rough look. I've done them, had people ask me before. Just screw it together. Yes, sir, that's a lot easier for me. But this looks, you know, a more professional maybe. I don't know. I just do what I'm asked. Now, for stain, we've got some uh, Golden oak, okay. You buy that from Walmart. Can't tell you if it's cheap or expensive because I really don't pay attention because I've got to have it. And, uh, you know, just slap it on there. You ain't got to be real careful of stain because it spreads real easy. Let it sit for, I think it says, five to 15 minutes to your desired color and wipe it off. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, now our stain is uh, completely dry. Looking nice. Front and back there. And now we're going to put a uh, little sawtooth hanger on the back to hang it on the wall. Here's our little hanger. You can get these at uh, Hobby Lobby. I don't think Walmart has them. But when you're putting this on here, you want to put it below this screw head. Because if you put it right on there, it's not going to you know, catch the nail or whatever you put it on the wall. So you gotta put it a little below it, All right there. And that, my friends, is how you make a plaque. Now, if that's all you need to see in this video, you can move on. But uh, if you wanna see how I put the deer head on the plaque, just wait one second. All right, now to mount one of these heads on one of these plaques, you're gonna need two anchor points. I've done one in the past, you can do one, but you know, when you pick it up, it flops side to side, and I like it to where it's, you can pick it up, it's not gonna move at all, it's gonna, it's one with the plaque. But, first anchor point is gonna be through this hole here, the second one's gonna be through these two here, okay? So, you gonna lay that head on there, and measure where you're gonna need to drill your holes. You can uh, move it further down if you want it, further up. I usually do all of them. Pretty good universal length at three inches and five inches. It sits up a little further on the plaque. It's not perfectly in the middle, but I just like it that way. I don't know. Looks better to me. So now that we're gonna go at three and five, need to measure across there. That's three and a half inches. So dead middle will be 
one and three quarters. Maybe. My math's right. Then, go come from the top. Find your halfway marks again. Mark it three. Make sure you're in the middle. Mark it five. Make sure you're in the middle. Now you're gonna drill two holes here at three inches and five inches. Just get a bit big enough to where your wire can fit through. I just use picture frame wire so it doesn't have to be a real big hole. An issue you might run into that I just ran into, five inches is right where this piece of wood is that's holding these boards together. So you can go either above it or below it. I think I'm gonna go above it since this is a smaller, younger deer. If you got older, more mature deer, you might wanna go below it. Just depends on where your holes are you're gonna set the anchors at. All right, we've got our four holes drilled and they don't have to be a specific length apart or exactly lined up. They're gonna be behind the head. Nobody's gonna see them. All right, I usually cut 10 inches or 11 inches of wire just so I have enough. I'd rather have too much than not enough. I have to go back and cut a whole new piece. The way you're gonna run this first piece of wire is through this hole right here and out that hole. And just leave it hanging there about halfway. You're gonna do the same thing on this side. Through that hole, out the big one. Well, a little bit of cartilage broke off, but that's all right. Nobody sees that either. And this way, you got a good, real good hold on it. That ain't going anywhere. Now, putting it through these holes, you're gonna go in this one and out that one. It's a little harder. A little, little trick you can do is put a bend in your wire like so. So you can just run it through, come out that other side. That makes it a whole lot easier. I'll save you a lot of time right there. Now that we've got our wire through, you wanna flip your plaque upside down so this top is facing you. You can kinda of get it off the table a little bit. Run your wire through without hitting the table. The bottom will stay on it and you don't have to hold it there. So what you wanna do is put your top two wires coming out of that big hole through the top two holes. Hold them down on the back side. So hold your head in place like so. Then you put your bottom two through the bottom two holes. Like so. At this point, you kinda wanna put your head up against a wall or something, help you hold it there. Look at the front side. Make sure your head's where you want it at. And you just twist these things together, like so. And you come back to the front, make sure it's not crooked, straight up and down. You go and twist the bottom ones too. And you can leave it just like that. But what I do is I'll take a pair of pliers like so, tighten it up a little extra. Don't want to tighten them up too much because you can break those wires. And you don't want to do that. So you just tighten them like that. That's good there. Then you get your cutters, snip them off. Don't snip them off real close, because they'll come undone. Drop that head, you don't want that. You just flip them up so they don't poke anybody. And there you go. There's the finished product, ladies and gentlemen. And this is a kid's first deer. He'll have this memory forever. So, hope you learned something. Hit that like button if you liked it. And uh, thank you for watching.